Hello everybody, Ken Surfs here. It's Sunday, we're back in the shave den, and I had been waiting uh, for a new razor to arrive. I knew it had shipped, but it has arrived, and I'm gonna be doing a demo today on the uh, Blackland Vector Titanium Single Edge Razor. In fact, it just arrived, so I'll kinda show you uh, what it looks like out of the package. So we're gonna be using that today, for the aftershave and for the uh, soap today, I'm gonna, it's hot here, SoCal, it's hot. I was at the Orange County Fair yesterday. I was at the Orange County Fair on Wednesday watching Cheap Trick and Blue Oyster Cult. Oh man, great show. It's been hot. So not as hot as Phoenix or uh, in the, the desert communities, but it's still been hot. So I feel like cooling down. I'm gonna use margaritas in the Arctic today from Sterling Soaps. We'll be using that today. and. I'm gonna break in from DS Cosmetics, the Ken Surfs uh, 2021 limited edition brush, and it's got the nice soft bore uh, bristles on it. So I'm gonna put the bore bristles in here because definitely this is brand new. It's gonna take a while for this brush to get broken in. If you ever have a bore brush, you'll know what I'm talking about. The first few shaves, it's not the greatest, but then as it softens up, uh, it really, bore brushes really seem to work fantastic. So we will soak that uh, brush in water, not hot water, just warm water. We don't want to disrupt the uh, the glues or the adhesives that are holding that bore brush in. So the Blackland Razor. Well, if you watch my videos, you know that I have used the Blackland Vector in the past. And here she is right here. Blackland Vector. It's got a nice weight to it, but uh, it's a, it's got a nice white, nice weight. And this is the original Vector. Now, I'm gonna put this back in and I will show you the new titanium version. I don't think it's available yet. They said they were gonna be taking pre-orders. It's not a cheap razor, a not an inexpensive razor. It's not for you guys who are just starting out, unless you uh, want to start out with a Primo razor. So here's the box. We got a couple of decals, Blackland decals. We have, uh, thank you, welcome to the family. And we have the vector. Now, right away, they've changed their boxes. Uh, I've had this vector a while. This is the old style box. This is the new one. A little bit of an unboxing video too, huh? Get your Blackland card, your instruction card, and you get your vector razor. You should hold it right side up with a nice stand. These stands, oh, it's even knurled. Uh, it's got the knurling right away, right out of the box. This is a light, lighter than the previous version, Razor. But I'm telling you, right out of the box, it's a lot lighter, it's titanium. Fits nice in the stand. So we're gonna be trying this out today. This video might run a little longer than my usual because uh, yeah, we're demoing a couple of new items, so be patient. I'm gonna be using uh, my favorite blades, Captain Kai Pink. Uh, these are the mild, they're mild, yeah. The, where are we at, mild, the mild blades. I was going to use the blade that I left in the Vector from a few shaves ago, but yeah, I figure brand new razor, brand new blade, brand new day, and gents, I need a shave, you can see that. And it's almost ready for this to come off. I will take this off by the end of the month. And uh, maybe I'll use this razor next week to take it off with or in a week or so to take it off. So if you haven't seen these SE razors before, we have a rectangular post, so you can't really goof. The only thing I do every once in a while is I put this cap on the wrong way. And you'll know right away if you've done that. So. As I set this down, I'm gonna get the Captain Kai pink blade out of here. Comes right out. Gonna put it right on here. It's 
got the slots too. Slots are holding her in place. Now let's see if I don't goof and put it on back. I put it on backwards, son of a gun. I'm notorious from what I said not to do, to do there. It's on correctly. <laughs> you put it on backwards, you're gonna know. She just does not line up right. So perfect. Nice smooth back, zero overhang. Let's tighten this up. Now, some of you have suggested that it's nice to put that urethane washer uh, on this to hold it in place to stop the marring of the titanium or the stainless or whatever uh, handle and head you have, but uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that today. Very good. So that, cleaning up a bit here, is loaded and ready to go. All right, let's see. Ready to start? <laughs> it. I've got some good growth here. So I'm hoping that uh, not too much growth for this blade. It's a mild blade. We'll find out what happens. All right. It was really good to get out to a concert again, see uh, Cheap Trick and Blue Oyster Cult. In fact, I've uh, taped three of their songs. I Want You to Want Me, Dream Police, and Surrender. And I think I'm gonna upload, right away it's gonna be a copyright infringement. I'm gonna, that's why I'm not gonna include it in this video. I'm gonna just put uh, those three songs from the Orange County Pacific Amphitheater, uh, the 11th, Wednesday, the 11th of August. It was a good show, it had been delayed from last year. So I, I will upload that. So it's not gonna be a shaving video, so you can skip it if you don't want to, or you can look. All right. Brand new forehead bristle brush. It's going to take me a while to figure out the consistency, how much water it holds. Bore brushes are a little bit different than the badgers and definitely different than the synthetic. And it takes a while for these bore brushes to loosen up. If you've had Omegas or Samogues, a lot of people say, what's the best brush to get? good brush and it's not an entry level brush by any means, but the Omegas and the Samogues are really good. It's good to, you can find them on Amazon. This brush, uh, I'll put a link. You can find it from DS Cosmetic if you are so interested. I never tell you to buy a product. I just try it out for me. And if you want to get one, that's up to you. If you don't, that's up to you. Yeah, it's uh, very stiff because it is brand new out of the box. They sent me an extra one, so I will be giving one away. I'm going to maybe do just a, a giveaway for it uh, in a week or two, time permitting. All right, so I will have a, I will have a upcoming contest. We'll see how it does. Oh, very, very light titanium, very light. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, I put the blade in backwards. What an idiot. There's a blooper. That's hysterical. I tell you what not to do and I do it. Had the blade in backwards. So I was trying to cut with the dull side of the blade. I was going, this is really mild. Now let's see. So do I make mistakes? Hell yeah. We're only human. I like the precision. This is a very precise. If you've got a goatee, if you're doing sculpting of your beard or your hair, very precise. Oh man, that's how it should be. I thought, geez, these blades are duller than I thought. No, I'm just dull. All right. It's extremely light in the hand. And I hold her like this. I use my pinky for support and there's a pinch point right there.
but this is not an inexpensive cheap razor. But it's a very, you'd only need one, man. If you want it to be your razor, you'll only need one. Of course, you've got several. Uh, I was talking to one of my friends. He, he bought a DE razor, or a single edge razor. He wasn't too happy with it. It was an injector razor. Man, this could be the way to go. Yes, 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 gone, 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 gone. Very good. All right. The more I do this, the more she's going to get broken in. She doesn't smell like a wet animal, though. Does not smell like a wet animal. There, that's the consistency I like. It's getting a little dry. Ah, margaritas in the Arctic. Very refreshing menthol smell. Way to go, Sterling. You got one of my favorite menthols. All right. <laughs> the wrong way. You can't put a DE blade in backwards, but you can an SE. At least I can. Maybe you won't. Maybe you won't. There we go. It's not clogging. I'm shaking it out and it's, uh, it's clearing the vent. Oh yeah, there's nothing left, man. You got a little left. I can hear a little feedback. Again, very easy to hold, very light. I like the titanium better than uh, the regular version. Of course, it's more expensive for titanium, but very light, durable. Well, I got a perfect shave out of it after I figured out how to put the blade in. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that blooper in because otherwise you won't, you wouldn't have known that, you know, I make mistakes and I do. Just ask my wife. The brush is breaking in. Oh man, much needed, much needed. I'm getting in trouble with the, the ladies in my house because I'm watching the TV, a horror movie, and I'm just sitting. And they go, quit doing that. <laughs> Nervous habit. Yeah, this should break in really well. Synthetic will work right out of the box, but this one will take a little while. Let's rinse it out. I'm pouring uh, fresh water, and I'm just swirling this around. Letting it drain, getting all the soap out of it. Never want to leave soap and brushes. I'm the worst offender. There we go. See, it's starting to, uh, it'll spread out. Let me see, where's another one of my uh, bore brushes? Where's my Omega? Where? Where's my Omega Samog? My Omega is supposed to be right here. It's not there. Oh man. Well, anyway, they break in. Trust me. What a mess. They break in. But uh, the bore brushes do take a little while. And after a while, they're going to be very comfortable. But don't expect a bore brush to work straight out of the box. All right. No nicks. Right? You consider that a good shave? You get a close shave, very good shave, no cuts. I consider that a good shave. All right. This one's going to burn. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Yeah, it burns. Man. Like 
very, very powerful menthol scent. All right. Now, I get asked all the time, how many times do you use a blade? And I only use them like twice. You can go a lot longer with a blade. Uh, you have to care for them a little more. I should take the blade out of here, let the unit dry, but I plan on using this a few more times this week. Not on video necessarily, but uh, uh, I usually only use them twice, but you can go 10, 10 plus times and get still get good shaves with DEs and single edge blades. So let me hang this up to dry. Very nice razor. Now, I don't know if they've been advertising it. I don't know if Black Lambda has been advertising it or not, but uh, uh, it is coming out. They are taking pre-orders. It's not a cheap razor, you know, but if it's something, if you want a high-end razor that you can, uh, you know, keep for the next generation, I'm sure this will fit the bill. Definitely fit the bill. And titanium, just fantastic product. Expensive, but it's worth it. All right, so I've got a video coming out. Oh, preview of some coming attractions. Why not? I got, I got a new, another high end, high end from uh, Naughton and Wilson, made in England. Uh, a new uh, Uday toilet. Is it Uday toilet or is it after Uday Uday perfume? It's going to be a very powerful uh, scent. Again. It's uh, a little bit on the spendy side, but I use their I use the classic one a lot. I'm gonna do a video on that. From Captain's Choice, they have a few new leather items. One is uh, for travel. It's uh, for your brush. You can roll your brush in it, strap it down. Uh, it keeps your brush intact, stops it from getting damaged during travel. And there's also a nice leather razor travel pouch. I'll show you some of these in an upcoming video. And maybe we're able to travel again. So <laughs> might as well protect your products, right? All right. Happy Sunday. Hope you've been safe. Hope everything's going good. Hope it's not too hot for you where you're at. It's been miserable here. That humidity is just, I don't know how you people in Florida handle it or down, down in, you know, Louisiana or New Orleans, I don't know how you handle it, but man, uh, it's been one of those weeks here, but stay safe, everybody. I hope everything's going good for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.